<laughs> Greetings, my lovable weirdos. What's Halloween without some pumpkins? This week, I'm going to be turning myself into a jack-o'-lantern. So let's start! Taking a light-colored eyeliner, I drew out the shape of my jack-o'-lantern's cut-out eyes, nose, and mouth onto my face cast. If you make a mistake, just clean it up with a makeup wipe. Mix up two parts liquid latex to one part baking flour to make your liquid latex paste and cover the top half of your face cast. Dip your finger or sculpting tool in latex to make it easier to shape your prosthetic. Start smoothing out the latex paste and make sure it's the shape you want it to be. Don't worry too much about smooth edges for this look because we're not really going to be blending out edges. But I'll explain that during the application process. I used a wooden skewer to carve out the vertical indentations of my pumpkin and used my palette knife to smooth the sides out a bit and define the pumpkin's shape. Do the exact same thing for the bottom half of your jack-o'-lantern. I'm leaving a gap between the two prosthetics so that I can move my mouth if I have to. Leave the prosthetic to dry for 24 hours. Once it's completely dry, powder down the prosthetic and lift it from the face cast. Be generous with the powder as there are so many crevices to this prosthetic and we don't want it to stick to itself. I then pinned both prosthetics to my foam head so that I could start painting them. I started with a base of yellow face paint. Don't worry about getting into the pumpkin crevices because we're going to be layering another color over that later. But do try to get a nice even coat of yellow over all the raised areas. It's up to you how many coats you want to do. I think I ended up with about three coats. Next, I took a small brush and painted the crevices orange. I then took a dry, stiff brush and stippled out the orange color so that I'd still get the yellow showing through underneath. Next, I took the black from my bruised SFX palette and applied that to the crevices of my pumpkin to give my jack-o'-lantern more dimension. Blend that out. To try to tone down the bright Cheetos orange of my jack-o'-lantern, I took the orange shade from my ColourPop headliner palette and rubbed that all over the prosthetic. I also stippled on a different shade of orange face paint. Touch up the yellow if you have to, and we're done! Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe, and look out for this week's Transformation Thursday video to see how I applied this prosthetic. Until next time, keep on embracing your inner weirdo. Bye!